Okay, last section of the chapter, equations of circles. Um, yeah. Okay, here's your standard equation of a circle. Uh, HK is your center, and radius is R, and they have X minus H quantity squared plus Y minus K quantity squared equals R squared, so your radius squared. Your basic, if your center was zero, you would have this nice pretty equation, X squared plus Y squared equals r squared. However, most of the time your center is not going to be zero, so that's why we do minus h and minus k. Okay, let's see what that looks like with an actual example. Okay, the equation of the circle, so I'm going to go x minus, remember which one is your x value, so I do x minus 3, that quantity squared, plus, then you use y minus but I'll notice my y value is a negative 3. So I'm going to do plus 3. Quantity squared equals my radius squared. My diameter is 12, so that makes my radius 6. And I'm going to square it. I get 36. And that's it, folks. That is how you write the equation for a circle. <clears throat> looks scary. Doesn't look like y equals mx plus b by any means. But it's, it's actually pretty basic once you kind of get going here. All right, here's your center. You have 0, negative 5, x and y. Your diameter is 18, which makes your radius 9. So you start in with x minus your x value, which is 0, squared, plus y minus the y value, which is negative 5. So that makes it a plus 5, quantity squared, equals the radius squared. Well, the radius is 9, so I square that, I get 81. What I would actually prefer is if we just go x squared plus y plus 5 squared equals 81. Okay, this really isn't simplified. I probably will not count it wrong. However, it would be better if you just took the time to not put minus 0. All right, example 3, we want to graph it. So go the other way. <coughs> Basically, to graph a circle, you need your radius and you need your center uh, on problems like this. So if I look, I always... In my, in my mind, I always see kind of the opposite. If I see minus 2, then I'm going to have 2 for my x value. And I see plus 3, so that means my y value must be negative 3. And that's for my center. See how, how nice that is? Be careful, this is r squared equals 4. So that means r equals 2. So now when I go to graph my center, I'm going to point at 2, negative 3. There's my dot. And my radius is 2. Here's how I want you to sketch a circle. My radius 2 means i got to go from the center to the side. I'm going to go up 2, put a dot, left 2, down 2, right 2, and then make a little circle out of it. And once again, it's look at my circle. It's not actually very circular, and you might have that too where it's kind of got little edges. But that is fine enough for me. Okay? Here's another problem, very similar to this. I need to find my center, I need to find my radius. My center is at 0, 5, because I don't have anything added or subtracted here. I'm going to do the opposite of minus 5, which is 5. And r squared equals 25, so that means my radius is actually 5. So I put my center at 0, 5, and my radius is 5. So from this point, I'm going to go right 5, down 5, left 5, I know I'm off the graph, but you can do the same thing if you went off your graph, and then sketch the circle. Okay, it's not going to be perfect, and that will be sufficient for me. Okay, then we get problems like these. A circle with a diameter of 8, I'm going to write this right now, the radius of 4, uh -huh, has its center in the second quadrant. Oh, yeah, let's review quadrants. Here's quadrant one, two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. <clears throat> the lines y equals negative one and x equals one are tangent to the circle. Tangent means touching. Write an equation of the circle. So here we go. y equals negative one. I'm going to graph that and make a dotted line. <coughs> Your y equals. Um, if you wanted to make a table of values to figure this out, you go on the y-axis to negative 1, and then I'm going to make a dotted line. Okay, x equals 1 is going to be this line right here. You go on the x-axis to 1, and then make your line. 
Okay. Now it has to be tangent to both. Now there's lots of ways you could put a circle in here. You could put a circle in. Um, let me just kind of put a sample circle that touches. You could move this circle here. It could be tangent to both, or here, or down here, or it could be here. The thing is, they tell us that the center has to be in the second quadrant. So I'm looking for a circle somewhere over here. Now, if my radius is 4, doesn't that mean it's 4 units away from this side and it's 4 units away from this side? So I'm going to go in 4 units and up 4 units. I go over 4 units, uh, down 4 units, right? <clears throat> that means that this and this, and then I would go out 4 units this way, I would go up 4 units here. Okay, now that's a bad sketch, but you get the idea. Um, write the equation for the circle. So my center, I'm going to write this out for just a second. The center is at negative 3, whoops, because here's my 0. So I go negative 3, positive 3. Okay, so to write the equation, x plus 3 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals the radius, which is 4, but i got to square that, equals 16. So that is the equation of my circle. All right, next example. Oh, circle is misspelled. Do not email me. Do not try to get an extra credit point for that. I'm, t I'm catching it right now. Circle with a center at 5, 4 has a radius with an endpoint at negative 3, 4. Write an equation of the circle. Okay. A circle with center 5, 4 has a radius uh, with an endpoint at negative 3, 4. So I have negative 3, positive 4. Good goodness. So this is my center. And the radius must be about this long. How many units is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <clears throat> so once again, I, you know, if I were to grab, like, do a little sketch of this, I would go eight units up, eight units to the left, eight units right, but I don't need to sketch it. This is write the equation. So all I need is my center, which is 5, 4, and I have a radius. What that allow me to do is figure out what the radius is. Okay? So x minus 5 squared plus y minus 4 squared equals the radius squared, which is 64. And that's it. It's a pretty bright picture.